and we lost again. All right, so another one, overtime. I didn't watch, so it's not a recap, but I saw what happened. We were losing, we're winning, overtime, we lose. I guess goalies aren't allowed to have a black glove. I don't know. But, hey, you know, we're Panther fans. We're used to it. So we'll move on. So a couple of days ago, before the Calgary game, I tweeted out that I wanted to do a top 10 reasons for being on Panthers Twitter video. And I wanted everybody to DM me some suggestions because I wanted it to be you know, a group project, right? So I got the list, okay? I got a lot of suggestions. The caveat is, look, they're not all mine, okay? I didn't write all this, all right? I really, I didn't. So, hey, we'll try it out. Some of these I, I really, I really like, and then some of them aren't so great. But anyway, number 10, the number 10 reason to be on Panthers Twitter, Ralph's Panthers Expert T-shirts, huh? Right? Are they great or what? I love them. I love them. You got to keep them coming. And the best thing about those T-shirts is that he never lets you down. You know, if, if you find something and, and you say, hey, you need to make this into a T-shirt, he'll do it. It's great. So keep it up, man. I, I, I love I love it. I love it. Number nine. Uh, this is a more serious one, but it still counts. I, it was something I wasn't really aware of too much. And that is that Panthers Twitter is a great way for everyone who's overseas and is a Panther fan to kind of connect and get to know everybody and be involved with the team. Because otherwise, you're, kind of just, you know, you're just kind of sitting there by yourself as like, yay, Panthers, and, you know. Everybody's speaking German or something, you know? So, hey, we've got a lot of great overseas fans. You know, we've got Ingra from Sweden, Vladimir Putin, all right? They're all big Panthers fans. So we'll see if anybody got that. <laughs> and there goes, and Lucas, there goes my cat at the door, right? See, I bitched about your cat, and now my cat is at the door. So <laughs> he's not coming in. All right, one of my personal favorites. I didn't write it, though. The number eight reason to be on Panthers Twitter, Jessica Blaylock. Right? Okay? There's, she, there's something there, right? Okay? She's, like, sneaky sexy. Okay? She's not one of these Instagram girls, you know, it's like, oh, look at me, I'm on the beach and my boobies, you know? That's not what she does, okay? There are girls that will post a picture, take the selfie on the beach, oh, look at me, in my new bikini, right? But no. Jessica, she's she's sneaky, okay? She'll post a picture of herself on the beach. Oh, look, I just saved a baby whale. But nobody sees the whale because she's wearing a skirt that would make Lucy Lou embarrassed, right? So, but hey, we love it, right? I mean, we love you, Jessica. It's great, you know? Definitely could have been higher than number eight, but still, you made the list. That's a good thing. The number seven reason to be on Panthers Twitter... Again, in an example of one I did not write, these are paraphrased. You know, I got a lot of responses, so I've kind of had to, you know, piece them together somewhat. Um, but the number seven reason is Jeff Carter. Um, specifically, this the one, one of the, I, I'll just read it. Boy, that Jeff Carter, he sure is sexy, like a little teddy bear. I want to have his babies. This is the kind of stuff that that was messaged to me. It's it's it is what it is, Jeff. Hey, you know you got something the ladies like. I don't know what to tell you. All right. The number six reason to be on Panthers Twitter. One of my personal personal favorites. I don't know that maybe maybe people were picking this up telepathically from me, but my number the number six reason is specifically just so you could block that up your analytic guy okay that guy I, let me tell you when I was a kid I worked at bingo hall okay and it was off a of Griffin or Sterling Road one of those two Some, somebody down there is going to know I don't remember but I worked at that bingo hall and I worked at concession stamp and there was this one old guy 
okay? And he would walk around in all fuddy-duddy. And, like, if your top button wasn't buttoned, he'd be like, you know, you should wear proper attire when you're serving the public. And he would just go around and around. And that was, you know, they had the big cage, and they'd, they'd pull the ball out. And he'd be the guy, you know, after every game, wait a minute, I want to check your card. I don't think he pulled your right ball out. That dude is the same dude. He's probably still alive, and that's the up your analytic guy. All right? I blocked you. My life is, my hair is growing back. I've lost 10 pounds. I grew six inches just since I blocked you. So keep it up. The number five reason to be on Panthers Twitter, apparently I did not know. There is a when is Lucas coming back pot. Apparently, uh, there's a $10,000 pot, and you had to guess how many times Lucas will quit and come back to Twitter, and I'm at, I got 11, and I'm looking pretty good, so I'm sticking around, all right? He'll come back. You're coming. Don't worry. You will. <laughs> all right. The number four reason to be on Panthers Twitter, guys, you'll agree, the Panthers women of Twitter, right? Not the Redline girls. Oh, that's a different subject. No, I'm talking about the Panthers women of Twitter, okay? Because go check out go check out Dolphins Twitter, okay? And what do you have? You have like 20,000 22-year-old Latinas in bikinis going, look at me on Snapchat, okay? I'm so sexy. Great. But our girls just run down the... Guys, go to your follower and following list, okay? And look at the girls on Panthers Twitter. Every single one of them is like marriage quality, okay? They're just... It's just, it's just cream of the crop. All great women, all right? And I'm not sucking up. Hey, I'm married. What am I going to do? But I'm just saying, you know, we got we got women that run marathons. We've got radio producers. We've got it all, okay? So that's a big reason why to be on Panthers Twitter. You know, I've got my favorites. I've got one specifically. I'm not going to name names. You know, I'm just not going to do it. You know, my wife watches the videos. I'm not saying anything about women with red hair and Names that start with M. Not going to do it. Okay. Number four reason to be... That was number four. I can't count. Come on. Give me a break. It's early, right? I only had one cup of coffee. Can you tell? The number three reason to be on Panthers Twitter is... I pled Jesus. Right? We've all been had. Okay? You have to watch your timeline. You have to watch it. Okay? Because you're going to see some crazy shit. Like, oh my God. And you retweet. You're like, this can't be true. And the next thing you know, Ekblad is, you know, he's dropping a gotcha meme on your page. And he's like, sucker. And you feel, and you get pumped. You know? So, seriously, dude. Cut it out. All right? No, really. Keep doing it. I love it. It's great. You've gotten me at least twice that I can remember. I can't remember what it was because I'm old. But I love it. It's great. All right, look. Now, the number two, number two reason to be on Panthers Twitter. Now, this one could have been number one, but for obvious reasons, I didn't make it number one, okay? But let me tell you, I, I got a stack here. This is all, all these, because I printed out the responses, all these, had to staple them and organize them and everything, they're all for the number two response. And and it's, it's kind of embarrassing. It, it really is. I'm just going to read... A few of them, okay? Because, seriously, um, it's too much, guys. It really, all right? So, the number two reason to be on Panthers Twitter, it's Charles a Look, this is this is what came in, all right? This is this is how the polls came in. You guys want to say Russia hacked, hacked the polls? Fine, but this is, you know, I'll just read a couple, okay? You know, I mean... Boy, that Jaws, he's, he's, he's so sexy with his beard and blue eyes. Okay, it, it, it was, it was kind of like that, you know. Um, like Maybe the same one that sent to Jeff is like, Jaws, I, I want to have your babies, you know. And, and, and I, mean, I mean, last one, okay. But seriously, I mean, some of this stuff, sometimes at night, I sit down with my laptop and I get in the bubble bath and I turn on the flying fluffy. And I take my shower massager and... Wait a minute. Wait. <laughs> yeah, I'm not reading that. Okay, I'm not reading that. Who who sent this? Dog, that's not funny, dog. Okay? I know you watch my videos, but that, that come on. Come on, man. All right? So that's number two. Number one reason 
to be on Panthers Twitter. And this is going to be very specific to a certain number of us, but it is the number one reason. And that simply is to troll the analytics community. Am I right? Am I right? Is it not the best thing ever? Okay, look, for the first quarter of the season, I could just tweet out, I miss 44. And I would get death threats. Okay, people would be DMing me, I'm coming after you with razor blades and lemon juice. All right, it was crazy. You know, even, even now, if you haven't watched the video yet, I could go downstairs and I miss Gabranson. And I would get, oh my God, how stupid can you be? Gabranson sucks. It would just, it just, <laughs> it's awesome. And so then we kind of switched to Griffith, right? Because that was the new golden child, you know? I mean, it got to the point there, you know, at the end where, you know, everybody was so desperate to say something good about him. You say something bad about him and even Goldie would have to be like, well, He's really good looking. You know, there was nothing left. So that to me is the number one reason to be on there, just to mess with those guys. And you know, hey, in an addendum to that, when we get into our Twitter wars, okay, and we go back and forth and fight over all these things, it's very simple, okay? If you want to diffuse the situation, there's one of two things that you can do. My favorite tactic is, of course, I will retweet your tweet and tell you how much I like banana cream pie pancakes or peanut butter cookies or whatnot. And and usually everybody just doesn't really know what to say to that and it throws a nuke on the argument. But if you'd rather kind of come together, no matter what you're arguing about, I don't care who it is, all you have to do is say, Jakob Kindle sucks. And that's it. Because there's nobody that's going to argue with you, okay? No matter who you're arguing with, what you're fighting about, just say, Jakob Kindle sucks, and they'll be like, yeah, cool, bro, we agree. All right, peace out. So that's the top 10, all right? So one last thing. Um, what's today? It's Thursday. I lose track because these games are on weird days, but it's Thursday. Now, I, we know, I know we play Friday, sometimes Saturday, Sunday, somewhere in there. Flying Fluffy, okay, you know, there's all these other, you know, Panthers guys, you got credentials and all of this, but I'm going to tell you something. I personally have the behind the scene footage of Vinny Viola punching the guy, okay? I've got it. I'm releasing it this weekend. You're going to want to see it. You don't want to miss it. It's going to be great. All right, Friday night, we got our two points. Go Panthers.